Hey guys, I have my January wrap up here and I did pretty well in the month of January. I read seven books, one of which was an audiobook, and that's pretty great for me. That's above average, I would say. I'm usually four to five a month, so January was a very good reading month. The first book that I read in January was Mystic and Writer by Sharon Shin. Now, I'd read this series. It's a four-part, I think, book series. Maybe it's three. I feel like it's four, though. I read these books in high school, and I really loved them, and I was in such a fantasy feeling at the end of 2017 that I did check out quite a few fantasy books, and I wanted to reread Mystic and Rider because it'd been so many years since I had initially read the series, and I just remember really liking it, so I wanted to see what it was all about. And honestly, it was like reading it for the first time because I'd forgotten pretty much everything that happened in this book. So it was so good though. I rated it a four and a half out of five stars. This is a book that takes place in a fantastical world. You could probably tell by the title, Mystic and Writer. It's a very well-written story and it's a very easy fantasy story to jump into. There are quite a few fantasy stories that takes a lot of world building to really understand what's happening. But I felt like with Mystic and Rider, it was so easy to understand the world and their magic system and how it worked, so you really were able to get into the story that much quicker. So in this story, there are mystics, and it's a country divided on if mystics are okay or if mystics are evil. And there's a group sent by the king with mystics and some king's riders. They're traveling through all the kingdoms in this land to kind of see how they are because there's word getting around that there's war at hand and people just are really unhappy with the kingdom and how it's going and a lot of the unrest is against the mystics themselves who think they're evil there's this whole religious group coming up that's saying that mystics are just pure evil and then there's also people who are just really unhappy with the king so you learn all about that it's a traveling fantasy novel so you are in this obviously traveling group going through these kingdoms there's adventure and there's magic, there's parts that will make you angry, um, and there is a little bit of a romance as well, which I like in a fantasy novel. I think it was well done. It didn't seem like it was just put in the fantasy uh, for no good reason. It felt like it really had a place in it, so I enjoyed it. This book was really great. If you're in the mood to read some fantasy, check out Mystic and Rider. I think eventually I'll reread the rest of the series, but for now, I just wanted to read the first one over again. Next, I read The Martian by Andy Weir, and this is another four and a half stars book. I think I upped it on Goodreads to give it five stars just because I felt like being nice to it, but this obviously is the movie The Martian that was made a couple years ago. I'd watched it when it came out and I really liked it and I've been meaning to read the book ever since and the book does not disappoint. The book is fantastic and what makes this book so great is the character of Mark Watney who is the Martian and he has to figure out how to survive and it's so great reading the story. This guy is a pure genius but the thing that makes it so great is how he doesn't let anxiety take control of his life he doesn't let the fact that he is literally alone on an entire planet that pretty much wants to kill him let him down he has humor he's just such a funny great guy you're rooting for him the entire time I mean I watched the movie so I knew what happened but reading about it it was still just a mind-blowing experience because you're reading his log entries that he does basically so it's a diary style format and oh my goodness you are like hand sweating at certain parts of the book it's so nerve-wracking and I will admit that at the end I was had to hold back tears I was so overwhelmed so it was an incredible book if you watch the movie The Martian definitely read the book it is a great book great movie I already want to watch the movie again so would recommend so the next three books I did a bit of a marathon reading session for I started the Raven Boys series by Maggie Steve Otter so I read the first book the Raven Boys I read the second the dream thieves and the third blue lily lily blue and I'm about to start the Raven King so I'm scared and excited at the same time so I'll just kind of go over how I thought about these books in general not over each individually these books 
have hype because they are good and they have hype for a reason which i was nervous getting into them because there's a lot of hyped books that i read and i feel like i don't really like them as much as everyone else seems to like them it's hard to describe exactly what these books are about and i think everyone has trouble describing what these books are about because it's just such a bizarre thing it's something i've never really read about before it takes place in like a modern day america um, but there is magic involved blue is is from a family of psychics except she is the only one who doesn't have any psychic abilities and then she meets the Raven boys so the Raven boys are Gansey, Adam and Ronan and each of these three guys they are so unique in character and in their development it's crazy watching them from book to book and the changes that they go through you're constantly being mind blown I mean Maggie Steve Otter knows how to write characters very well which i mentioned when i talked about my trespasser review characters are a big deal they make or break the story and that's why these books are so good is because of the characters obviously there's a good plot too so i'll get into that gansey is on the hunt for a dead welsh king because the mythology has it that whoever wakes this dead welsh king will be able to ask something of him and whatever it is he will grant it so it's kind of like a magical genie situation basically wake the king get a wish life moves on and blue becomes a part of their little gang and it is so good i you need to read them um i read each of these books within a couple days and i just read one after the other after the other i think i read all three of them within two weeks or a week and a half or something i just really liked these books would recommend them for sure like all four and a half reads I feel like once I get through the series, I'll still say it's like a five star series because I think overall it deserves that. Next, I listened to the audiobook An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This, I did not really like this, honestly. Um, I know this book was so hyped and so many people were looking forward to. And I have heard mixed reviews for it, but I was still thinking that I would enjoy it. And I hate saying the word fairies because Fairies just sounds like Tinkerbell and it's so much more than that. But it's a story about these fae and obviously they're immortal, they're beautiful, they're powerful, etc. Uh, but the only thing they can't do is create human craft like art. They can't paint, they can't make swords, they can't cook, they can't do anything like that or it kills them. So they really value human craft. And the main girl in this story, she is a painter. And so there is this fae who always comes to her and she paints portraits. She's a very well-known painter. Uh, and eventually he recommends her to the autumn prince who hasn't visited their mortal town in a very long time so he comes to town and she does his portrait but instead of just leaving a beast she paints sorrow in his eyes and sorrow or any human emotions are something that Faye are not supposed to feel so this causes a huge uproar he whisks her away and that's kind of where the story takes off so when it started, I thought, I'm here for this. This sounds great. I'm ready. Like, let's go on an adventure. It just fell apart for me completely. I thought I was really going to enjoy it, but I only gave this book two stars. I didn't think there was anything special about this book. And it wasn't that it was bad, I think. I just was bored with it. It wasn't a story that felt original in any sense. And it didn't feel like I'd read this book before, but it just felt bland. And in comparison to reading books that had incredible characters, I think that was a theme with the month for January for me. I mean, the Raven Boy series, those characters just jump off the page at you. In The Martian, our main character was phenomenal. And then I get to An Enchantment of Ravens and I felt like these characters were so flat and they had like no personality. I didn't really feel anything for them. So because of that, I wasn't able to connect with the story. I think it relied too much on a romance that I didn't even buy into at all, which I was kind of looking forward to because I am a huge fan of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So I love stories with Faye. And I was really looking forward to reading this one because I thought it would be another great story about Faye, but apparently it was not. And I just felt like there were so many cop-out things. It's hard to explain, but you know when you're reading a fantasy book and you feel like the author just creates rules for their magic just to suit their own needs? I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I felt like in An Enchantment of Ravens, that was done a good bit. I felt like she just wanted to do something, so she changed the rules for, oh, but in this case, fairies can do this because of blah, blah, blah. But I felt like 
I don't know, I felt like she didn't really have a solid magical system and it's not like it was even that complicated of one to begin with, so I felt like she couldn't even stick to it. I don't know, there were just a few things that I didn't feel like lined up, but I'm gonna end with my little <laughs> rant on that one. I don't think I would really recommend it just because I think there are other better books out there. If you liked it, that's great. I'm so happy you liked it. I just personally did it. And the final book, which I'm not even going to talk about because I'm going to have a full spoiler free review for it because I think it deserves it, is The Trespasser by Tana French. And all that I'll say here is that I gave it five stars and I really loved it. So look out for that video if you're interested in hearing a little bit more about it and why I think you should read it. So those are the books that I read in January. If you've read any of them, of course, I'd love to know what you thought about them and if you liked them, hated them, if you want to challenge me on some of my opinions on them, just please go ahead in the comments. I'd love to get chatting about them. Thank you for watching and happy reading.